Hey, welcome guys, this is Oid and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to automate the procedure of searching into the Google. So normally what we do is we type in the search engine, search engine name, which is bing.com for me. I'm not gonna use Google because I'm using YouTube somehow. Anyway, then what we're gonna do is we are gonna search hello world. If we search it, you can see after searching, there was a step and we can see the results here and we need to open it one by one. Uh, so to open to see all the results you have to open one by one which you can actually automate using python so what we are going to do is we will make a module which will be uh, i already created one here which is search it dot pi so we are going to do something like that uh python search it dot uh, search it dot pi then the thing you want to search for example hello world so it will be into the third argument. After the third argument, you will write down all the things that you want to search. So hmm, we are good to go. So we will first import the sys module from Python. It's a built-in module. You don't have to pip in install or anything. Then we are going to import the request library. I have already installed the request library into my Python. If you haven't, then you have to install it using pip install request. Uh, I will be also importing the BS4, which is beautiful. So for uh, you have to install it using pip install beautiful. So for then I will also, oh, okay bs4 i will also uh, import the built-in python built-in web browser um, okay so we will first write down um, opening the results and then what we are gonna do is we will use the sys arg uh, list to get the arguments after the module so you can see that python is uh, one argument here the search search it dot pi is another argument here hello world these are also other arguments so what we're gonna do is we will first print out all the arguments after search it by so we will print out mm, sys dot arg so this is basically a list. Uh, let's let me print it out first how it works so you can understand. So you can see that it's only coming up with, with search it dot pi. That means we are having one list. But what about if you say hello world? You can see that hello and world are coming into second and third items of the list. So what we can say is that we will be uh, taking all the inputs after the first items. That means we are going to have something like this into Python list. If you don't know how, how it works, then just go through the basic Python list slicing things. All right, then let's try to run it again and see. So, okay. First save it and now you can see that it's uh, omitting the search it dot by that means whatever we are gonna have after we can get it into a Python list okay but we don't want this to be like this we want this to be called search text because this is the search text we are gonna use right so we will use it into a join and this is gonna be our search tag you can print it again search text and let's see how it goes uh join is not oh i haven't put the dot here it shouldn't be comma then if we print now you can see that it's uh, printing into a single line without any kind of space but we need a space actually so if we put a space here it will be showing us in a single lines having the spaces that's a good thing now what we need is that we need to get the url um, 
search results so what we're gonna do is we will use request library so we will say response equals to request dot get so it is actually making a get request you know if you don't know about what is get request you need to actually basically know the how http works so in http you can make get request to retrieve results post request to post some results to the internet so i'm making a get request that means i'm trying to retrieve some results so if you see we are going to use bing for that one i already have something here but you know uh these are the things that we are going to have from the arguments and this is the extension we need to use so i'm gonna copy this one and i'm gonna put it here and i'm gonna use the search text that we found from here to search it okay let's print out the response and see how it works uh, response i think it will be a response object okay it's showing a response object but we can always print out the text uh, and it's gonna be a very big response trust me as it is so this is a very big response we don't want this thing in the hole so what are we gonna do is we are gonna we are gonna take soup equals bs4 dot beautiful soup response dot text so we are converting this response the http response get resp uh, get request that we made uh, the response we are converting it into a text format then using the beautiful soup we are converting it into a beautiful soup object so that we can actually crawl over the elements into the HT uh, html contents um, to make it easier i would say something like that we are into the html we can always see something like this right you can see uh anchor element h2 element uh then list element then these are the things elements we want to traverse from one to another another to another or find searching a lot of things we can do with beautiful soup but we are going to limit it to something uh like uh, finding a uh, anchor link here then we are gonna say we need to find the elements that means the elements that we are going to find are the results of a uh, of the results of the google search or bing search so these are the elements if you see and all these have a common pattern if you see uh, if i open and inspect it you can see easily this anchor element is inside a h2 header 2 then it's inside a, the header 2 is inside a, a list item which has a class of b algo if we open another one another result it it is also the same thing the anchor is inside a h2 and the h2 is inside a list item and it has a b algo class so all of the results have the same pattern where list item has a uh, b algo and inside this has a h2 and inside this has a anchor uh, link so we can easily say that uh, to find the element i mean to find all of the links we can uh, say link items equals soup dot uh, select so this is a function which helps us to select the items from the html elements into the you know the response text or the soup we are getting uh, then we are gonna say since it is a class we are going to use b algo then inside the b algo we are having h2 so we are gonna say h2 and inside the h2 we are having a or anchor anchor link then we are gonna say a okay so we are having currently the link item you can actually print it out if you want to see link items uh, and if we try now you can see that i have printed out some of the elements yep you can see some of the elements okay but 
this is not what we want we want this all of the results and uh, uh, to be opened into the browser right so to do this we are going to loop it loop the results so we will say item in link items then uh, we will say web browser to open the results to open the link into the browser to we will, we will say oh browser dot open and we will say item and inside the item for every item we can actually get the hash wrap which means the link we will get through using item dot get and inside the get we are we are gonna say hash wrap so it should actually um, help us to open the link that we are getting from the link items okay i think our program is almost finished uh, let's try to run this right now python search it dot pi then we are gonna say uh, python tutorial on internet let's see if it runs or not cool we can see right now we have some of the pages opened here this is cool isn't it uh, i want to try another one let's close this all and go back and i want to say um, django tutorials okay 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 guys hmm something wrong with it let's try again uh documentation python okay you can see right now that it's opening up the results easily you can do it for yourself you can customize it to be more advanced so you can play around with it i hope you like the tutorial if you like the tutorial thumbs up and uh, also don't forget to share with your friends who are learning automation i'm gonna come up with come up with more intermediate beginner or advanced level tutorials later on thank you so much for watching subscribe with me see you into, into another video